Hello everybody, it's Gloria from Gigi the Crochet Queen where I bring my love of crochet to inspire you to learn to crochet or to advance your skills. So welcome to my queendom. Today's tutorial will be on another face mask. Uh, this is a face mask from Toto in Crochet channel. It's a Spanish channel, but she does very good instructions. Um, I just watch her. I know a little uh, Spanish in the numbers, so I can kind of follow her. So if you speak Spanish, this will be a really easy mask to do. So t I will be using this Patton's Grace yarn. It's uh, a three lightweight yarn, 1.75 ounces, 50 grams, which I think is quite enough to make this mask. And the color is Viola. And this is a 100% mercerized cotton yarn. And I like to use cotton yarn for my face mask. I will also be using a three millimeter crochet hook. Here it is. Three millimeter crochet hook. And you will also need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. I will be using a darning needle because this is thin weight yarn. So get your materials together and let's get started. Okay, so to start this mask, you want to do a slip stitch. However you do your slip stitch, I just wrap it around my fingers twice and go under and grab my yarn and pull it through. So chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Single crochet into the second chain from your hook and single crochet into the next four. That's two, three. And five, and do two single crochets into the next chain one and two, and then you single crochet into the remaining five stitches one. Two, three, four, and five. Chain one and turn your work. And then you want to do a single crochet into the next five single crochets one two three four five and then two single crochets into your next single crochet one and two and then single crochet across that's one two three some more yarn four five six chain one 
turn your work. Okay, going on to row two. Chain one, turn your work. Single crochet into the next five. One, two, Sorry about that. Three, four, and five. And then do two single crochets into your next stitch. One, two, and then single crochet across the next six. That's for one, two, three, four, five. It, it, mm. And six. Chain one, turn your work. Row three, single crochet into the next six single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and two single crochets into the next stitch. That's one and two. Single crochet across the next six. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one turn, row four, single crochet into the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six, two single crochets into your next one, one, two and then single crochet across next seven stitches so as you can see it is increasing by one on as you go that's one two three four Five, six, and seven. Chain one turn. Now row five until row twenty. Seven is the same pattern repeat. So we'll do it one more time. So this is six single crochets into do six single crochets across one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and then two single crochets into your next stitch. One, two, and single crochet across should be eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So continue this pattern until you are at um, row 27 and I will meet you at the end of row 27. And this is what you should have right now. Okay, so I have finished row 27. And this is what it should look like. And let's just do a measurement across. Um, per her instructions, it's supposed to be um, about five, I think five and five inches five and a half inches and I measured mine and mine is a little wider but that is okay if you get it to the five and a half great mine is about six and a half so mine is about an inch wider than hers inch or so so from a row 28 it's just single crochets across. So chain one, turn your work, and do single crochets across. And you will repeat this for the next, uh, let me make sure, this is row 28. So you're gonna repeat um, row 28 to row 34. And you should always have 38 single crochets. So row 27, you should have ended with 20, with uh, 38 single crochets. So just um, from row 28 to row 34, just single crochet across. And I will meet you at the end of row 34. Okay, I have finished um, row 34. And this is what you should have something that looks like this fanned out. And you can see on these sides where you did your increases. So now we are going to start on row 35, and this will be a decrease row. So chain one, turn your work. You want to single crochet into the first six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then you want to single crochet seven and eight together so yarn over go into your next stitch yarn over grab a yarn and pull through all three so that's a single crochet together and then just single crochet across That's two, three, four, five, and I will meet you at the end of this row. I am at the end of row 35, chain one, turn your work. 
single crochet into the next six single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, and two single crochets together. And single crochet across and this is your repeat um, you will continue to do this same pattern um, until you are at row 61 that should be your last row for decreasing and I will meet you at the end of row 61 so just remember six so do six single crochets, two single crochets together, and crochet across, chain one, turn, and repeat until you have finished 61 rows. I'll meet you at the end of row 61. Okay, so I have finished my 61 rows. And this is what your mask should look like. And as you can see, you have that raised area for your face. So the next thing we want to do is make some ear loops. And let me come out of there. So let's chain one, turn your work, and we're going to just do single crochets across. You should have 11 single crochets on both sides. Both ends should have 11 single crochets. So that's two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A chain. I'm going to do a chain of 20. That's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then you just want to see if that loop is long enough to go around your ear and if not if it's too long or too short just add a few more chains to it and that should be okay for me and i'm going to slip stitch into your first single crochet And now I'm going to do single crochets around that loop. And you just want to do a nice even amount of single crochets around that chain. And I don't really count how many. I'm doing I just do it just um, do it evenly around you don't have to bunch them up or anything you just want to have a nice even um, stitches around because this will be around your ear 
or whomever you sell it to or gift it to, whatever you want to do this, do with this. I pretty much make them for myself. And I made, um, I haven't made one of these for anyone, but I've made the round ones. If you watch the round ones on my channel, I made a few of those for um, some people. Oh, you know, think about it. I did make one. I made two of this style for two ladies. One was a gift and one was a purchase. I know a lot of states, including my state, are not um, strict on masking. Our state never went to mandate for masks, but I still wear mine when I'm in a big crowded area until I stop seeing a whole lot of things happening. So that looks pretty even to me. And now I'm going to go into each single crochet going down. And I'm just going to slip stitch around. So I will meet you at the other end and if you don't want to do the slip stitch you can do some um, single crochets around it just to um, make the edging actually i'm going to do single crochets around let's do single crochets because the slip stitching will not give me the look i'm looking for so just do single crochets all the way down nice and even if you have problems trying to find the little uh, places where you did your turns from your single crochets just make a nice you should have actually think about it 61 single crochets because you did 61 rows so think about it that way if you have problems with finding all of the ends of your rounds. Because sometimes it is, especially when you're dealing with something small like uh, this. Um, the single crochets are small. Use a small hook so you got small single crochets. So just keep going down and I will meet you at the end of this side. Then we'll make the second loop and then we'll go up the other side. Okay, so I am down to the end. So now again, we're going to just go across your 11 single crochets over here. And just do single crochets across. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven, and again, chain twenty, five, six, seven. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And slip stitch on to the other side. And then again, single crochet. Nice and evenly across. And then when you get to the other side, you do single crochets across the bottom and your mask will be finished. Just fasten off and weave in your end. So I'll meet you at the end of this chain, your ear loop. Mm, I think I'm going to go back because I don't like the look of that. Go back. I'm going to put it there. Yes, that looks better. Single crochet across and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I am finished with that side. So again, just doing single crochets down this side evenly across and just keep in mind you have 61 rows so you don't want to have too many or too few let's just single crochet across and i will meet you at the end of this and we can fasten off and weave in ends and you will have you a nice face mask if you still wear them or if you know someone that needs one and again as I said I wear this with um, the surgical mask you can also make um, two of these and then put them together and you can make a little pocket um, so that you can put a filter inside of it but I didn't do it that way so you can do this more than one way so I'll meet you at the end okay I'm at the end making my last two single crochets I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet on the loop yep and fasten off And you now have a mask. So this is what it should look like. 
and this is how much yarn that remains from that skein so the mask is finished got your loops so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll make them share them if you are on my Facebook group or you can I am also on Instagram I'm on TikTok and I also have an email address at ggthecrochetqueen at gmail.com. And I also do lives. So you can come on my live and show me. Um, my lives are usually Thursday, Friday at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my live on Saturday is usually at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come join my queendom. So until my next video or my next tutorial or my next live, stay safe. Keep crocheting. Bye-bye.